Peace and blessings. This is Nubia I of the Blackberry Beauty Holistic Academy, Ancient African Healing for the Modern Sister. Peace and blessings, everyone. So, sisters, I am definitely about to get my cycle. So, I am feeling the cycle and everything that goes with it. And for me, that is just like meditative state, totally mellow. Don't want to do a whole lot. On top of that, I'm doing this intermittent fasting. I think I started, was it three days ago? I can't remember. So today is Friday. Yeah, I probably started Tuesday or Wednesday. And basically what it is, is I've been doing where I, you know, wake up and I don't, I only drink liquids, which is smoothies or herbal tea or water or coconut water, you know, uh, just liquids where I, and I don't, and I drink that, and I stay on the liquid fast actually until about 5 or 6 in the evening. And then I have one meal. Usually it's a large salad with everything that I want in it. Of course, all raw. And then uh, that was it. I eat my meal. I have a little snack, a nice little raw snack, a dessert. And then I stop eating. So about between six, between 5 and 6, I have that meal. After 6, don't eat anymore. I just drink water again. And I do that again until... Um, six o'clock the next evening. So I guess I'm kind of yeah I'm doing liquid fast for 24 hours and then I wake up and eat one hour a day So really I guess 23 hours I'm liquid fasting because I'm including the sleep and then one hour a day I'm actually eating. I didn't kind of plan it But what I really want to do is go into an all liquid fast for about three to four to five maybe seven days Okay, I'll be honest y'all. I really want to go back on a liquid fast. I remember Last year, this time, I had did a liquid fast for 60 days. I don't really want to do it for 60, but I would love to do it for 40. So I'm gearing myself up. I'm preparing myself. And so for me, drinking liquids all day and then being able to eat a meal, that's a transition for me into that just 24 hours of liquid fasting. And I'm looking forward to it. But of course, you know, I'm doing that. But I'm also, you know, I'm got my cycle's coming. I could just feel it. You know when it's coming. Y'all, it's the energy. And I'm really honoring that and honoring my cycle. But another thing, too, you know, I was thinking is I'm also, I don't know, I just keep getting this message. The Spirit's like, do something new. Do something new. If you want to grow, if you want to change, you have to continue to do new things. You don't have to do everything new. You don't have to change everything. But you have to do new things, and I could feel I kept feeling it. So I really want to, um, I wanted to um, really focus on kind of my body at this point. Now, y'all, I do yoga every single day, and I also, in, including my yoga, I do push-ups and I do sit-ups. But I do the same sit-ups I've been doing for years and the same push-ups. So they're not really taking care of my core issues around my belly and my and my love handles. When I gain weight, I gain weight in other areas, like across my, my hips and my thighs and my booty, but I also gain weight sometimes in my, uh, where the love handles are or my stomach area. So even on a raw food diet, even though you're eating on raw, if I go too far and eat too many, uh, they eat too many almond pork or almonds or nuts and seeds in general I, and not have a lot of activity. You know, I used to live around the lake in a walking environment. I used to walk a lot more. You can get away with a lot more when you're walking. And I'm not able to do that at this point. So my body, I'm getting, I mean, I'm a little older, so you know, the body's doing what it do. And so I, today I got up, y'all, and I, I was thinking, like, I really want to, have uh, sit-ups that focus on the core areas that I want to deal with. And I, I was watching this video by Chime Edwards. She's a beautiful uh, hair guru out of Mississippi. And she was talking about how she keeps her belly flat. Now, keep, keep in mind, she this big, y'all. She tiny. She's real tall. She's beautiful. But she showed the before picture. She had a little belly there and a little after. And I thought, yeah, that's me. So she talked about doing planks and scissors and this other sit-ups. So I saw it like yesterday when I woke up and after I did my meditation and I went into my, my sit-ups, I said, I'm going to do it. And y'all, I'm feeling every bit of it. <laughs> I just did it this morning and I could feel the, the, the crunch, the burn. I can feel the burn. That's what I feel. But also, so I was so glad I did something different. I mean, I've been doing the yoga kind of routine that I've been doing for over 16 years. So that's a long time. And so when you do something that long, you're going to have to switch it up. But also, too, as you know, I took out my Nubian knots, or Bantu knots, as you'll call it, and um, my fro wasn't 
I thought the way I wanted it to be. But you know when you get on your cycle, ain't nothing the way you think you want it to be. And so I said, you know what, this is a great excuse for me to do something different. Why do I always wear my hair the Nubian knots? Well, the Nubian knots is my protective style. But then when I take it out, it's either a short fro or a stretched out fro. Why don't I just allow it to be free, you know, to really, or, or to do other things, you know? And I was thinking about my style and myself, right? And I was like, how would I describe my style, my style of presenting myself of dressing? And I, I, I would consider it, I would describe it as Afro chic. I like the, the Afrocentricity of like the, the, the beads or the bracelets, you know, or me, my face, me, 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 yeah. And, but I also an Afro hair, but I also like a punk style as well. So I'm Afro chic or Afro punk chic. Chic, depending on you know when uh, what I'm feeling, and today I wanted to feel more of the Afro punk chic. Like this lace skirt is very chic, you know the boots that I'm wearing very chic, um, the earrings you know very chic, but the hair very punk. So I, I'm so glad that I pinned my hair up and said I could wear many styles. Don't get stuck, you know, and that's what I want you to do. Don't get stuck. Change is really good for you and it helps you to grow as a sacred woman and a goddess woman. And so if, you, if you're doing the same thing every day and you're sitting there thinking about you want to change your circumstances, you want to change your life, you want to heal your womb issues, and you are not in this intensive, I'm going to ask why. Why not? Because I think it'll be so good for you. And definitely, don't forget the group Wild Women Who Run With The Womb. That group is a $37 a month membership group. But you can cancel anytime, and you will love the camaraderie, I promise. Also, it's April, y'all. Today is April 1st, so happy uh, April. And so, of course, we're going to be having a lot of specials. And so, I haven't announced them yet because I haven't decided what they're going to be. But they are coming, and I know you're going to enjoy it. So another thing too you know I wanted to talk about, I know there's a lot of new people that are finding my page every day because you write me, you comment, and you tell me, and I want to make sure that you address me. I know you might be, you might have not gone through all of my videos, right, or you know, and so you might not know a lot about me. And for those that already do, I think you'll learn even more. Now, remember y'all, when I talk about my growing up, I grew up, I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. And one thing about, uh, I, I loved Brooklyn, I loved, I loved where I was raised. I didn't know then I loved it when I was living there, but when I moved, because I'm in California now, I've been in California for over 20 years. Um, I know that that was a great place to be raised and to grow up, but California was a great place to really become a woman and to blossom into a goddess. And so I really like to be here. But I was telling you about the way I grew up was a very metaphysical way to be. And me and my mother, we didn't have the, a religion. It wasn't, it wasn't Christians or we delved into Christianity through the science of mind or uh, the religious science or metaphysics, as many of you know, affirmations, you know, law of attraction. We dealt in Buddhism, uh, Islam. Harry Krishna, you think I'm playing? <laughs> we were meditators, you know. My mama was very cool, you know. She was the odd one in, our, in my family, her family, among her siblings. My mother was into the black power. She was also a hippie, beautiful. Like I love my mom. My mom was the bomb, and I thank her for giving us so much. And I realized that even though it was myself, I have a sister who's one year older than me, a brother who's one year older than her, so two years older than me, and a younger brother that's four years older, so two males, two females, two boys, two girls. And my mother taught us all the same thing as far as the metaphysics, the meditation, even the African spirituality. She was very much into the Santeria. She became a high priestess, the whole thing. And so she taught us a lot, but everybody, and you, you have to know this for your own children, you can give them all the same lessons, but every single one of them are going to get something different out of it. Again, I'm going to say, you can teach them all the same things, give them all the same lessons, but every one of them are going to grab hold to some part of it better than, the, than the, another part of it. And that is as it should be. So, like I would say for me, I would, let me just go for my brother, since he's the oldest. My brother, Walik, I would say he has that mind control thing down. He can think it, and nobody, somebody can say, well, that's unrealistic, or that'll never happen. He is so focused on what he wants. This is the part of metaphysics. I think he has that. He doesn't doubt. He doesn't flinch. He doesn't waver. He doesn't lose faith. He is focused like a what, and he creates what he wants that way. 
That is my sister. My sister, I love. My sister is a number girl. She actually is an accountant. She was. She actually just decided to do her own thing. I'm, I'm, I want to really talk about her today. And she loves numbers, always been good with numbers. She's an accountant and never got a degree, never went to school for accounting. She's just that smart and she's always loved numbers. But what she got was from my mother was that she got better than me than anybody else and she's the bomb at is the numerology and the feng shui. She is a numerology and feng shui master. She has studied feng shui on her own for years and plus all that my mother has given us all and that's her specialty. I, on the other hand, my, my family describes me as a little bit of everything. I'm more into the goddess, the divine feminine, the, the channeling, the trances. You know, I'm a little bit of it all. Like, my mother gave it to us all, and I like it all. So, I would feel like I'm more holistic. I'm, because they don't really have the food down. They, they, but my sister eats much better than she did, and she's also about to become a vegan as well. But I got that holistic thing. And my youngest brother, Sean, Sean is more with the affirmations, with the playing something over and over again where it gets into his psyche. So he can, and, and more visual. He's the, he's the king of visualization. Like I, I'm the, I would say I'm the queen then, but he's the king. And so we all got something. So my sister is brilliant. My sister is actually decided to, after all these years, to let her job go. She's taking time off. And she's really decided to pursue her numerology and feng shui business. So when I was in New York for three months over the summer, I really helped her to get her business together, to set up her website, you know, the things she needs to know. And she is brilliant. If you think, if you've ever had a numerology meeting with me and you thoroughly enjoyed yourself, my sister is bad. My sister will, my sister is the numerologist like nobody's business. Beautiful personality, lots of wisdom and knowledge, raised by the same mama, and she is the numerology queen. And I want to introduce you to her. My sister's name is Aisha. She's not here. I'm going to introduce you to her just by telling you about her. She's uh, one year older than me. She's in Brooklyn, New York, been there all her life. She's a Taurus. Her heart is the bomb. She's running, and right now her website is set up to do numerology readings. So I want to let you know that I'm not going to be doing the numerology readings anymore. If you go to my website, you'll see an icon for the numerology reading with a link next to it, and it will take you to my sister's website. You will not be disappointed. She's having specials. Her prices is not much more than mine, but she has packages. She has a numerology reading where you know your whole numerology reading like a chart for the entire year. She got six months. She got a relationship. She's got where you should live. What's the best environment? What's the best state? When to go? Your relationship. What house you live in? She breaks it down. And she is wonderful. And right now she's running lots of specials because she just launched her website today. And I told her that I would send all my people over. I know you all trust me. You trust the work that I do. You know my products are great. You know the, the work that I've done on one-on-ones with you. But really I'm wanting to branch out and do some other things as well. And so numerology right now, I want to give you all the best. I'm giving you my sister. I wouldn't even recommend her to anybody or recommend anybody that I didn't think was of the highest quality. And I feel like I know that numerology, you should have all of it. You should have the whole chart read and everything that goes with it. Numerology is so important to help you to discover who you are and your divine purpose. So I want to introduce my sister again, Aisha Sutton. If you go to my, what I'm going to do in the description box is, of course, leave my website where you can purchase the intensive or the group while we move around the womb or any of the one-on-one -on -one consultation specials that are still there. And also, I'm going to leave her website in the description box, and you can go there. But if not, if you don't go, you don't see hers in the description box, you forget, you can go back to my website, and it'll be a link to her website. Give her, you, if you, I, what her price is, I don't know what her specials are, she just told me she got specials. I know that they're good, and for the price, why don't you give her a try? Because you know I wouldn't send her, you to her if I didn't think she was all that and more. And that's what I'm saying about this idea of change. Like, Spirit, what, what is this? But I know it's the meditation. When you start fasting and you clear, you understand, you get the messages that the Spirit gives you, you obey and you listen to your intuition and you become that wild woman again. And I know that the changes that she can give you way more in the numerology area than I can. And she can take you to that next level where you want to be. And she's a beautiful heart and a beautiful person. 
So I'm changing. What I want to do is I want to create workbooks for every one of my intensive, real live course materials that I provide workbooks for every intensive. I want to make a, work, a whole workbook for my entire course, Wild Women Who Run With The Womb. I'm also going to be doing more speaking engagements. I want to start seeing you. I want to come to your state, your town, and your country. You know, I got things, me and my assistant, I want her to start doing other things. She's so brilliant, you know, and I want to put her to work in doing things to elevate us. And that's what I want to tell you. We're all, at some point, we have to move forward, right? But of course, I mean, I'm moving forward still here. The intensives, the groups, the one-on-ones, the consultations, everything else is still there. But like I said, you know, as you know, with my products, I'm doing the products, but I have my husband now. He's here, and he's here to help me. That's why they're, they're, the packaging is beautiful. They're better than ever. We get them out early. You get them so fast and on time. Thank goodness for him. He creates the, the flyers. I'm sorry, he creates the labels, does the artwork. Just, just He's amazing. And so I want to introduce you to my sister, who's also amazing. And so, yeah, we are a family, and... You know, family doesn't necessarily have to be blood relatives either. It could be people you trust and you love. But really, as a businesswoman, my job is to give you the highest quality of, of, of service. And I want to get better and better. My website is almost ready. I, I'm telling you, y'all, you're going to absolutely love it. It's so pretty, and I'm just very happy with it. And you'll be able to digital download all the past intensives, uh, meditational CDs. You know those once a month conference calls that I do, that I've been doing for a couple of years? I set, I split them all up into enlightenment series. So you can listen to those. Those are amazing when you listen to them again. So many ways to help you. And I'm going to have items that are $27, $47, $67. I'm going to have a gamut of affordable products because I know there's a lot of you that say, I, one day I'm going to join your group or one day I'm going to join your intensive, but maybe I don't have it. So I'm going to make some products where maybe buy the booklet, A Real Life, My Journey from Cook to Real Food that I wrote, and for $14. Maybe then you can move up to the Enlightenment series at $27. i am also going to be selling meditational uh, digital downloads for $10. So I just want you to be in it and have some experience. We are doing it, y'all. That last intensive is all about the womb. Over 70 women, and we are in love with each other. We are healing and helping and, and doing the thing. So I would love for you to experience uh, that kind of love, and my sister can bring it to you. One of these days soon, we're going to do like a Skype interview, and we'll put up on YouTube, so you can actually meet her, meet her. But for now, go to her website. It would, be hurt, it would hurt nothing for you to go to her website. Also, y'all, for those that don't know, I've forgotten, I mentioned it, but I'm going to mention it again. Um, my, the beauty products are back. The shea butter, the moisturizer, the mist, toothpaste, and the clays, and the soaps. They're, they're, they're just, oh my God, they're just pure luxury and ultimate self-care and taking and loving yourself to the fullest by what you put on your bodies and so it's called Africa 7 Beauty and if you go to my website you'll see a link you can, it'll take you over there so you, you don't have to if you don't know the website it's always the blackberrybeauty.com uh, or I'll leave it in the description box I'll leave just the, you can go directly to the website Africa 7 number 7 beauty.com Bye, bye, bye. I know the weather's getting beautiful where you are. You know you want to glow, you want to shine, you want to look beautiful and feel good. And so I wanted to come to you and tell you all that. I know it's a lot of information, but it really is the theme of this video is do something different. Create change in your life. It brings magic when you do it. Hurt a little bit. Be sore. You know, don't know something. You know, have to learn it. You know, practice. It's just the mind grows when we're constantly giving it something new and learning something new. And even a level of difficulty is important. So you want to experience life, not just be a passerby. You know, not just be passive and let it pass you by. You want to be in the flow and have what you want and, and be what you want. Do your hair differently. Change your lipstick color. Wear a color you normally wouldn't wear. Join the intensive. Join the group of women who run with the womb. Get yourself a numerology reading and buy yourself some beautiful products. 
All right, y'all. I'm in now because outside is noisy. And even though, y'all, I have to tell you, I know some of your times you'll be like, Nubia, do the video indoors. Or Nubia, I can't hear you. Y'all, I feel like a caged animal when I'm, do when I'm locked up in the house. I will spend the majority of my day, if it's sunny, outside. I just love the sun. It just brings something out of me. I'm closer to nature. I'm closer to the God and goddess, the divine spirit, the divine feminine. So you're going to have to excuse me. Listen, y'all, I'll be in such deep meditation. Like in, our, in the new intensive, the April intensive, which is still time to join. It's, uh, it's all about the womb too. Ultimate self-care, the art of doing nothing. I just posted a video, the first video, and then I talked about all the ways to meditate. And somebody asked me the ways. If you join the group in the intensive, you'll find out. But what I told them was, y'all got to understand, when y'all be hearing the train go by or the planes flying or the factories in the neighborhood, like, in a sense, y'all, I don't even hear it. I'm so deeply into what I'm saying in the meditation that I can meditate even in the midst of noise to the point it becomes quiet. And yes, I acknowledge, oh, there's the train. Like, I, 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 I take it, I accept it, and I go with it. And so the, the meditative trance for me and the meditative state is really a trance. And I know you can have that. You can, you can meditate in the midst of chaos because meditation changes situations, changes environments, and changes you. Again, um, I'll leave my sister's website, Aisha, in the, in the description box. Again, where the beauty products are, I'll leave that website in the description box as well as the Blackberry Beauty. So I love you all very much. Thank you for watching. This is Nubia I of the Blackberry Beauty Holistic Academy, Ancient African Healing for the Modern Sister. Peace and blessings.